more than just a property tour. This is literally a piece of the United States of America. $55 million. It's crazy. I feel like this guy exclusively goes to places where like people are doing like allegedly doing, you know, Jeffrey Epstein type activities. Like you buy a $280 million Colorado mansion, like you're doing Jeffrey Epstein shit, right? Like there's, it makes no sense. <clears throat> great production All right, value. so we're in Colorado. And we're about to do the most epic property tour we've ever done ever. And we thought we'd up the production value a little bit. So, uh, let's go. $280 million ranch tour. Here this guy's the number one realtor in New York City. Wait, really? We're going to Gateway Canyon. It's $280 million ranch. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, my legs. Okay, here's where we are. We are at one of, if not the most expensive listings in the world. This just hit the market for $280 million. Thank God, dude. I've been waiting like fuck. I've been waiting for my fucking listing to finally show so I could buy it. You know what I mean? Oh God, the waiting part's the worst, you know, really hard when you're just sitting around waiting for this house to come back onto the fucking market for, you know, more than a quarter of a billion dollars, dude. Yo, imagine buying a house that is $280 million and it's this color, dude. Throw the whole house away. Like, what are you doing, dude? I can't believe you just bought a house and it's like, I don't even know what this is. It's like tan puke is foreskin color. It's in Southwest Colorado and it's called Gateway Canyons Ranch. It's one of the most amazing places you are ever gonna see. It's 9,000 acres. And to make that relative for you, that's about the size of 10 central parks. It's totally, totally crazy. The main house behind me is 22,000 square feet, over four floors. Why? Eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a fossil room, a movie theater, an infinity pool, and its own planetarium. It also comes with eight buffalo, its own fishing ponds, horse stables and horses, all this livestock, its own airport, its own runway, its own helipad, three million dollar. It has a, it has its own runway and airport, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? A helicopter with a pilot's own 72-room resort. Three separate pools, two restaurants, a spa, a Baja race track. Wait, what? Motherfucker has a... He has a restaurant, dude. He has two restaurants. So they're just operating and he doesn't even eat. I guess when you buy... I guess when you buy a house like this, you're just like, yeah, keep him running all day. People just sit around at the restaurant waiting for, for the man of the house to show up. A shooting range. There's also a $55 million car collection with its own auto museum, private little log cabin. It comes with a mountain that is 300 million years old. It comes with a rock that is 1.3 billion years old that predates all life. This is more than just a property tour. This is literally a piece of the United States of America. You ready to do this? Ready, set, go. Oh, sussy. I know that's supposed to be a planetarium. That gives me straight Jeffrey Epstein vibes, dude. That looks like little St. James Island. Little St. James Island had that exact same thing, dude. Okay. That's a sussy little baka right there. Wow. 
That's cool. I'd, I'd buy this place just for these big doors. Oh man, there are some steps involved. Here we go. Whoa. What's amazing about coming here is it's hundreds of millions of dollars. Yes, it's expensive, but it's totally different. The style is completely different, but it makes sense here. To go downstairs, you walk by a fountain and a fossil wall of real fossils. Okay. I hate malls, right? I absolutely hate malls because they're so big. They're so vast. They're so crowded. You get lost in them all the time. This is a nightmare because now you're just living in a mall. And I can't be alone in this, in my mall hatred. I, I, I feel like you would just get lost in your own fucking house all the time. So right off the main entry is your kind of formal receiving room, family room, little sitting area here, with screened in porch where you can see outside and get views. There's so much outdoor space here because this place is all about the outdoors. Look at this cool piano. Look at this piano like carved out of a tree. Bum, bum, bum. Elk is what's for dinner. Now I think the planetarium is up this way. Nope. We're gonna to get to the planetarium eventually. This is 22,000 square feet, okay? Cut me a break. This is a fountain. Fossilized dinosaur poop in the glass door. It's important that you know that. This is a really, really, really cool space. It takes you up. Should we go upstairs? This is so cool. Just look at the stonework that circles this skylight. There's a lot of skylights in this house. You're gonna see. They really bring the stars into the house at night. And then this. Bro, this is literally an ugly Western themed mall, okay? This is actually an ugly Western themed wall, wall, mall. It's just like, it's so sad. I can't believe we did genocide on Native Americans. So that like one guy could have all of this. You know what I mean? This is the American dream. This is the endless uh, expansion uh, towards West. This is why all of that happened, okay? Yes, this is where I would be as like the king broker and all the bad brokers, I'd put down this hole, you know? Like in 300, we kick the them into the fuck? hole. Except the hole here lands you in a $280 million library. Honestly, if I was the wealthiest cowboy in the world, this would also be my master bedroom suite. You've got this copper enclosed fireplace, this huge chimney, these ceilings. I mean, just look at those trees that are holding up your ceiling. Look at this mirror. And these massive closets. This is so cool. I don't know if I would wear suits if I would live here. You also have another roof deck up here, up the spiral staircase. So you come out of the steam shower, maybe you brush your teeth and you say, you know what? I want to sit on my bathroom's private roof deck. That's what you can do. Now what? that's a bathtub. <laughs> he has a, I mean, why wouldn't he have a private roof deck for his poop deck? You know what I'm saying? Like, like you're looking at the horizon as it takes you into this massive shower. You have this huge shower with another skylight. It's so cool. Right outside the master bedroom, you've got your own fountains, more outdoor space, manicured everything, and your private walkway to your own planetarium. No. So you come up here at night, and you're in your own private planetarium. And this is cool. Look at this thing. So the ceiling door opens, this turns, and look, you've got the constellations in glass written out here. I have never seen a house with its own planetarium before. First one. First one. E.T. Fauna. Dude, I, it's just like they, they literally, dude, dude, this is what happens when you run out of fucking new and unique things to give the rich people. Like, this is the product. This is the final product of, like, running out of unique things to put in your house. 
this is what you end up with. Fucking planetarium, dude. Why? It makes no goddamn sense. Phone home. All right, now let's go check out. Imagine looking at expensive houses only to shop for clothes like a kid. Are you talking about him? <laughs> hey, man, he, he was wearing fucking... He was... Are you talking about me or him? I don't even know, but... He was... Both? Tightest jeans on earth? I mean, he's, he keeps it tight. At the kitchen. Now this is a hood. It's a workable kitchen, massive stove, two sinks, and you got views from every angle. Bro, you... Hey. I have a $280 million Colorado mansion. And this is my kitchen, dude. This shit straight looks like... Like the ugliest, oldest fucking house in Los Angeles, dude. This sucks. And I think the appliances are Viking, which is fine, whatever. But you still got like that $30 Target microwave, dude. I mean, this just sucks so much ass. One of my favorite things. It's got this little like cutout here. So as you walk into the house, you can see the hood and you can see what's for dinner. The offices. I hate the sound editing in this video. The first office is used by John's wife, and this is where she does her quilting. You can see, she puts things up here, she makes them here, she hangs them here, and right outside you have direct access. Dude, rich people are so bored, they like, they literally go back to doing things that like poor people were forced to do. Okay? Like you go to Cappadocia in Turkey, okay? And this is what like old ladies are doing until their fucking fingers are numb and bleeding. And their eyes go blind from fucking staring at the quilts all day. You can see, she puts things up here, she makes them here, she hangs them here. And right outside, you have direct access to the pool and the jacuzzi. So if you're working, 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 you need a little break, you go soak, you know? And now we are where it all happens. This is where you discover things. Deadliest catch, beat out million dollar listing twice in a row at the Emmy Awards. No bad blood, it's totally cool. Those people put their lives at risk, as do I as a broker on the streets of New York City. Detail though, look at this skylight. Now that is planning. I mean, he probably uses these to fight off bears and you know, bigger bears. I mean, this is exactly the office that I would expect the guy that founded the Discovery Channel to have. Bro, this guy keeps mentioning the Discovery Channel over and over again. We get it, bro. His own telescope. Look, you get this art, you get all these things. This is totally crazy. You've got prehistoric pine cones. Look at these fossils. These are real. This was found in a tar pit. And then you've got this one here. You've got fossils everywhere. There's actually fossils all over the house, which is actually really, really, really cool. Now, probably the dude who owns it looks like a fossil. Walk by the fossil wall. It's an amazing staircase. And we're now on the third floor. The family floor. This is one of the junior masters. Huge bedroom, comes with two bathrooms, multiple closets with its own sitting room. And you'd expect that in 22,000 square feet. You have the lounge, you have this room. <laughs> When your junior, junior master has its own sitting room. Really, really cool copper painting here. And behind this, if you wanted it, is a, is a ginormous fish tank. That is on the other side of the movie theater. I sit here, watch Bravo and the Discovery Channel at the same time. We're walking, we're walking. Bedroom, 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 bedroom. So many bedrooms, so many bathrooms. You could have a whole party here. Now this is living. And you can see your- That's pretty beautiful. Buffalo. Now listen, you might say to yourself, what? Only a two car garage? Ryan, that place in LA has a 50 car garage. Just keep watching. 
don't go anywhere, okay? There's a lot more coming. If you're into horses, there's amazing stables right over here. Hey, horse. Wait, is he? <laughs> That's kind of like a garage, dude. Yeah, in Colorado, however many horses you can fit in your ranch is, is how many cars, basically. Hey, it's me, Ryan. Real estate broker from New York. Yeah. Number one real estate broker in the country. Okay. No problem. No problem. All right. You look beautiful. The buffalo are nice. There's two baby buffalo. There's one right there, and then there's one hanging out right over there. So not only do you have your own 22,000 square foot main house, not only do you have your own resort, not only do you have 200 million year old mountains, you've got your own private runway for your own airplanes, because right there is your own hangar for those airplanes. I kind of think. Okay, you can only fit a Cessna in there, dude. This is a dog shit runway. You basically have your own airport if you live here. Which reminds me, in order to show you all 9,000 acres and everything that is included in this sale. Motherfucker has a grass runway, dude. It's a grass runway, dude. What are you, are, are you drug trafficking? Like, what are you doing? I can't do it on the road. No, 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 baby. We gotta go someplace where you don't need roads. You get it? We're gonna go up in the, up in the sky. We're gonna go, we're gonna go get the helicopter because it comes with a $3 million helicopter with its own pilot. You ready, set, let's go. So wait, do you own the mountains too? <laughs> this mountain is 1.3 billion years old. It's yours now. I have a house with another house far away from the original house. No, you own those mountains, I think. No, oh, you don't own any mountains because that's native land? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he owns those mountains, dude. So part of the whole offering, too, is another separate lodge that's really, really cool up on this massive bluff. But we're in the middle of nowhere, which is actually pretty cool. Let's go check this place out. And we're with Al today. And this is where you come for a cup of coffee just to really get away from it all. Away from everything. <laughs> yeah, away from... Yeah, we're up here. We're up here. All right, let's check it out. All right. Cool. Classic log cabin. This is... Yeah, this is super cool. This is kind of like guest house number three or two or number 80. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, this is where the master sleeps. Just in case, hiking up here. I think you need enough to work out. You gotta get your little down after it. Cool. Awesome. What next? He did not like the cabin. Like, he was just like, Fuck this cabin. This sucks. Except like, it's the most normal part of the house and actually kind of looked cool. Like the cabin itself is like chill, you know what I mean? The grounds are so beautiful. Everything is so manicured. I mean, look at these views. I mean, come on. Like I said, this place literally comes with two restaurants, one of which is called Paradox Grill. That's amazing. Has its own bar. Here, you have multiple bars that are fully stocked with your own bartenders. And look at this, a martini. Now look, I don't always drink in my vlogs, but when I do, 
It's with my favorite vodka, Smirnoff. Mmm, look at that olive. Mm-hmm. And if you're wondering, yeah, this is an ad. Hashtag drink responsibly. This is a fully operational resort, which is actually pretty cool to have. I kind of like his vibe. Smirnov is so bunk, but like, I like this guy. Can't believe I'm saying that about a fucking New York, like, uh, broker or whatever, but he, he does seem, he does seem like a, like a chill dude. To have on your own property. It comes with a Kimberly. How are you? Hi. Thanks for having us. It's great lobby lounge, little cafe, little clothes. Bro, your house has a gift shop, dude. What the fuck? Bro, the house comes with a slave, multiple slaves, and also a fucking, like a gift shop, dude. When you, when you visit the house, you're like, hey, do you, wanna, do you want a little souvenir? That'll be $35. You want a souvenir for my $280 million Colorado mansion that's built on fucking native land? Let me go outside and see one of the pools. And like I mentioned before, this place comes with an entire staff of 130 people. That's all included. Finished in 2013. What? It's got a- Bro, people included with the house, dude, what? Dude. I need to see the slave quarters, dude. Spa, three pools, two restaurants, an amphitheater, event center, an adventure center with UTV tours, dinosaur tracking, all that stuff. A Baja racetrack, so you can take those UTVs and bounce around the racetrack. It's got a shooting range and a car museum, which I'm gonna show you. You also get about $55 million worth of cars. The earliest dating back to 1906. One of the cars I'm about to show you, last auction for $3.24 million. So, I mean, it just keeps getting better and better and better. Let's go. So how many cars are here right now? At any given time, we have about 55. 55? Yes, sir. 55 cars, about $55 million worth of cars. And you're a museum. Like, it's not just that you have a garage with a bunch of cool cars. Like, you have a museum to showcase all these cars that's on your property. That's pretty insane. I mean, there's literally like eight people you could sell this to on the planet, by the way. Like, there is not more than eight people that have the purchasing power to bu buy this. Yeah, it's Hassan is the house. What? This is the house. T tiny URL. And the history here is totally wild. Absolutely. And that's the idea. We don't just want cars here because they're beautiful. <laughs> we want cars that tell a story. That they all help work. People. Absolutely. They're all yeah. running conditions. Just blast in the past. Totally crazy. All right, we're going to go check out the resort. Thanks so much. Thank you. Take care. And remember how I said this place has 72 rooms? Well, I don't have time to show you all of them because it'll take a long time, so I figured I'd show you mine. This is one of the casitas because John Hendricks doesn't play around. I mean, look at this place. Look at the ceilings, the finishes. I mean, it's almost as nice as his own house, and this is just one of the resort rooms. I mean, look at these views. Yeah, I mean, these views are just out of this world. Actually, they're not out of this world. They are in Southwest Colorado in Gateway. Now listen, that's it. I just showed you a lot and I know that was a lot. So let me recap for you. And I'm gonna do this in one take. For $280 million, you get 9,000 acres, which is the equivalent of 10 central parks. You get one main house that's 22,000 square feet with four floors, an elevator, an infinity pool, a fossil room, a movie theater, your own planetarium. You've got your own helipad, actually multiple helipads, with a $3 million helicopter, with a helicopter pilot and a helicopter mechanic. You have eight buffalo, you have multiple horse stables with all the horses you could ever want, multiple guest cottages, and you've got your own runway with your own hangar, basically your own airport. If that's not enough, you have a 72 room resort with multiple casinos, one of which I'm staying right now, and it's pretty awesome. With two restaurants, three pools, a spa, a shooting range, a Baja racetrack, and more. And if that's not enough, you have a 55 million million dollar car collection in your own auto museum. Now that is a property tour. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. It comes with 130 person staff and that. That's insane, dude. You just own a mountain, dude. Got one more thing. It comes with 130 person staff and that.
Like, that's yours, dude, when you buy the house. This is like, this was depressing, dude. This actually made me sad. Boys, I'm really tired. I gotta hit you with it anyway right now. I worked out last night and then I worked out this morning again. It's like taking a toll on me. You know what I mean? You did some agiprop here. I'm gonna hit that last three minute ad break of the day. I hope you guys had fun today though. I can't believe motherfuckers are out here owning mountains, dude. That's so insane. And so sad, to be honest with you. Why is your hair unkempt? 